Hey guys, welcome to another episode of my videos here. Um, I'm just going to do a short video, a review on my GoPro Hero 7 Black that I got for Christmas and from my wonderful wife. I really appreciate it by the way. I needed one because I had that little crappy GoPro. Well, it wasn't crappy. It was a Hero 3. It was getting old. And, but anyways, I just wanted to show you how I set this up and where this is set up and like some of the adapters that I use to get it that, like this and how I mounted it. So basically I got a Plunz case on here. Um, it is machine metal and it's supposed to um, not interfere with like satellite and all that stuff through the camera so you can do like live feed. And basically it's a 52 millimeter. It'll fit an ND filter, UV filter, whatever you wanna use on it. I've got the filters for it, the camera. So basically that's how I have it mounted. I did use a smaller adapter piece in here. It will move left and right, but um, I'm leaving it stationed right where it's at. So basically what I did is I mounted it here. I put this, this other little adapter in here to space it out so I can move this up and down. And then I have this all, also right here that I can move back and forth if I want to, if it needs to be adjusted. So I like the height where it's at and I like it how far, far it is away from the, the chin vent. I can still get to it. Like with the J-hook that I had on there before, I was constantly having to hold my head up and then it was hard for me to get to my chin vent. And um, so that makes it really nice. And then also I can look down and it's not visually in my way, but I can look down and I can see the screen. I can see that, that the camera's on and I can see that it's recording, but it's not obstructing any part of my view. So which makes it really nice. And... Um, Basically, I mounted the mic adapter here. Uh, when I tried to mount it here, it acted like it was stretching the cord out. It acted like it was trying to unplug from itself. I couldn't get it any closer over to here because it wasn't flat up against the helmet itself. So basically, I just used this 3M uh, right here. It's the lock Velcro. Not the regular Velcro, but the lock Velcro. So if I want to take this thing off and mount it onto a different helmet that has this stuff on there, I can. If I want to switch back and forth. So basically that's what I did there. And I mounted it this way. It made it look cleaner with the cable like this. It's not actually, this is a thick cord and I don't think it's hurting it to be bent like that. We'll find out later on. And then um, I got my mount, my my cord for my mic mounted right here. You can see how it just plugs in there and there's there's hardly any cord showing. So basically what I got here is I took some Gorilla Tape and I just taped this the cord down here. And then under here as well, I just unsnapped this for you guys too so you can see this. Uh, I wrapped this in electrical tape here and then ran my cord all the way underneath there, all the way around to the back back there. You probably can't see in there. Right in there is where I mounted it underneath the padding there and then underneath the cheek pad. So it's basically sitting on the cheek pad and I ran the cord up and around there and down way underneath there so I wouldn't get any like hot spots or anything. So. Later on, what I'll do is I'll do an audio test on this thing and um, you guys can check it out and see how you like it or how it fares or whatever. But I just wanted to do a quick video on that to show 